Hey fellas, well, since the last video, the subject matter was a bit of a bust, thankfully this one has much more positive things to address, I mean, so here's my wrap up of the, of the first season, potentially a series of HBO's Watchmen adaptation, coming in the last two episodes, a guy walks into a bar, and you can see how they fly, I, which is pretty fitting given current events, to be honest. I was wondering how this Elseworld Clause concept would work, or given and how respected the original book is. And I gotta say, the way they approached it, I thought was actually quite impressive. I mean, so these two episodes involve how they're handling the character of but not head out of. Dr. Manhattan in this version assumes the form of of someone played by Yahya Abdul Mateen II. And while well, it's not quite as I think the same as how Billy Crudup approached the character in the 2009 film, it's a similar one and it definitely makes sense. They do keep a lot of elements and it's from his origin, like his dad uh, being a watchmaker. Her, her, but then giving up the practice when Einstein discovers that as a, a theory of relativity, he, he, since the Watchman in the, in the title has multiple meanings towards it. I mean, I won't be spoiling every single detail, hell, but the most important thing to know will be, or one of the most important ones will be, how. How uh, he can be in the past, the present, and the future. Or, I am at the same time on Europa, creating his own version of life, as well as just sitting at a bar, or having, being a beer with Sister Midnight. Right, so, it's definitely a I mean, that's one of the things I always liked how the speculative fiction concept and the and how it relates to our world and it's hard for me to get too mad about anything else I've done in the story given how how their story was written in 1985 mm -hmm. I mean, well, a lot of people weren't sure whether they were going to see the future at all sounds familiar doesn't it that mean and as for how this relates to any more content, I'm not sure. I mean, again, definitely not spoiling the ending. I will also only say that while it may not be exactly the same as the Frontiersman finding the Warshaks Journal in their crank file, it works a different way. And I think Lindelof is the kind of person, person that this material could work for him. And so far it seems to have Heaven. And I'm kind of thankful that the show has been as well as it has, especially after the, shall we say, a divisive reception to the, the last stretch of Game of Thrones. I mean, I mean I'm not, a bit, not the biggest fan of that, but I can understand why a lot of others weren't happy. I mean, hey, with it. I mean, heck, I'm still trying to piece together what was up, up with the. A family of Sopranos, I mean, I mean, you thought uh, giving Bran Stark the throne uh, was, was out of left field? Try just cutting off the video while listening to Journey. I'm not going to do that, mainly because I actually want to make sure the audience has a conclusive ending. So, what did you think of this first season or potentially the series? I mean, what could you think can be expected from the future? Let me know more in the comments because I've got plenty of other stuff I've planned for this, this coming year and potentially a decade, and I will see you all later. Mm -hmm.